So in this video here, we're going to see how we can train a custom Jolo 8 model on the Viz drone dataset. So this is a dataset containing images from drones. So this is a really cool use case for a lot of computer vision applications and also projects out there. We're going to use the Autolytics Hub. I'm going to show you how we can use the dataset, train the model in just a few clicks with the Autolytics Hub. And then we're going to see how we can run live inference with the model that we have trained on drone images and videos. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. We can go in and see we have this with drone data set. I'm going to walk you through the data set structure, search some image examples, and then we'll jump in and train the model directly. So right now, if we go inside the data sets tab up at the top, inside the Autolytics documentation, we can then see the data set structure, all the different tasks and so on we have, which it can be used for, object taking in images, videos, single object tracking, and also multi-object tracking and crowd counting. So this is really useful if we have a drone, which we basically want to do monitoring with, could be traffic intersections, different places where we want to do crowd counting or basically just crowd management. If we scroll a bit further down, we can then see the classes that we have in our data set inside the data YAML file. So we have pedestrian, people, bicycle, car, van, truck, tricycle, awning, tricycle, bus, and also a motor. So these are really useful if you want to do traffic monitoring on drone videos. So we can use this directly out of the box. And also if you want to train it locally, you can just specify the with drone data set YAML file and it's going to download it automatically. So you can train it with just a few lines of code on your own local environment in a Google Colab notebook or wherever. So this is one sample from the data set, which is already annotated. We have pedestrians, people and so on walking around and we just have this drone shot. So it both work on videos, but also images. So this is pretty cool. Let's just jump straight into the Autolytics Hub and take a look at how we can train a custom Yolo 8 model. So we're just jump straight into the Autolytics Hub. Let's now go down into our data sets. So we can just upload our data set in here, set up a Yolo 8 model that we can train directly. We already have tons of videos covering all of it, but this is a really cool use case. So we have this with drone data set, 8,600 images with 10 classes. We already went through those. We see some of the thumbnails here. So this is really good. Also, if you want to do parking management and so on, in one of the upcoming videos, we're going to create a project where we can do parking management. So you can basically just track how many available parking spots are there and so on. We can draw the specific bounding boxes and also polygon zones where those parking spots are. Then we can check if they're occupied or not with this this drone model as well. So we're going to train the model in this video here. We're going to see some inference results and then we're going to use it to create a real world application and projects with Autolytics as well for parking management. So here we can just see some thumbnails with all the individual annotations and images. Let's now just go up and hit train model. We can specify which of the models we want to use. Right now, let's just go with the small model. We can set some advanced model configurations all the high parameters here and so on. We have covered that in separate videos. So definitely check those out. So now we just hit continue. We can train it on Autolytics Hub account, choose the available instance and also for how many epochs. Right now, let's just go with 50 epochs because we have a lot of images in our data set. Once we're ready to hit train, we can just hit start training and it's going to take care of all of it. It's going to set up an instance here. You can see all the results, live, all the metrics, mean error positions, losses, and so on, live while your model is training. Once it's done training, we can just download the model to our local environment and run inference with the model. So now our model is done training. We can then go inside our deploy tab. If you scroll a bit further down, we can then see the different export formats. Right now we can just download the PyTorch version and use that directly in our own applications and projects. So we're just going to download it here and then we can use it in our own custom Python script. So I've just opened up my code editor. These are the videos that we're going to run the model through. So we just trained the model now. And now we're going to have these drone video footage that we're going to process. So right now I've just opened up this Python script here. We can take it directly from the Autolytics documentation as well. But the only thing that we need to do is just to import YOLO from Autolytics. First of all, make sure that you have pip installed Autolytics as well. We create an instance with our model that we have trained. So this is the Autolytics Vistrone YOLO v8 dot PyTorch model. So we just delete the comments here and then we can run inference with it directly down here at the bottom. But first of all, we need to specify the source. So the source will be our videos. So we just need to specify the path. You can also specify a stream here and so on. But I have a folder called videos. And then we can just start with a drone.mp4. Just test that out. We want to show the results. 
So we said show equal to true. And we also want to save our results. All of these arguments here can be found under also Lake's documentation. So you can see all of them, which can be set directly here. This result is just going to return all the results with the bounding boxes, classes, confidence scores, and so on. So right now, let's open a new terminal. There we go. I'm going to activate my Conda environment. And we can just run our Python script. So with drone, there we go. We should open up the video capture with our drone footage and see the results. So I'm just running this on my MacBook right now, but we can see that these are some pretty cool results. If you're just using the YOLV8 model out of the box and won't be able to detect these cars with as high accuracy. So here we can pretty much see that we're detecting everything. Sometimes it's swapping a bit between car and van, but that's also pretty good. We can see some trucks coming in here now, which is also very cool. Now we can go and do traffic analysis based on how many cars are moving in one direction, the other direction, and so on for this traffic intersection. Just to test it out, let's go in and test out the Yolovi 8 small model, just a pre-trained one, which is not trained on this visual drone data set, just to see a comparison. So here we just have a pre-trained model. It is not able to detect these cars. It is just, they are basically just like too small to be able to detect anything on. So this is the reason why we need to go in and fine tune our models on our own custom data set, even though we have cars, pedestrians, and all of that in the pre-trained models. So let's just revert it back here again to our VIS drone model and now instead of drone we have traffic.mp4 and we're just going to rerun it and we should be able to see some pretty cool results as well so here we can see the other video running we have motor pedestrian coming here on the sidewalk and we also have all these cars very high confidence score for all the cars even though we can even see like the front of the cars here we still have high confidence score and detect pretty much all of them then we can create a counting system tracking system and so on on top of it and basically create these traffic management systems so this is really helpful easy to use and you just saw how easy it is to have up and running with the autolytics hub it's just a few clicks we need the data set export the model and use the Autolytics framework. So this is very easy to get up and running. As I mentioned in one of the upcoming videos, we're going to create a whole traffic management system, so a parking management system, so we can see how many parking spots are occupied, how many are available. You've probably seen that if you have been going to malls, different places and so on. So check those things out and also the videos here on the Autolytics channel. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.